Welcome to today's video of Math Strategies Made Simple with Mrs. Braun. Today we're going to be looking at a visual representation of decimal numbers on the 10 by 10 grids. And so our first decimal number that we're going to take a look at is 36 hundredths. When I look at this number, I see that I have zero ones, I've got three tenths, and I've got six hundredths. So, these digits are going to give me a clue as to how to shade in this visual representation. And so starting with the tenths, it tells me that I have three tenths. So three tenths is also the same as thirty hundredths. So looking at our grid here, I'm going to this. One of these boxes here represents one hundredth. There's a hundred of them, and so one shaded in represents one hundredth. One entire column here is ten of those, and so that represents one tenth of the entire whole here. Because now when we're looking at this grid, this grid represents one whole. If you want to think about it as money, there's a hundred of them here, so this is, would be equal to one dollar. One box would be equal to one penny or one cent, and then an entire column would be like your dimes. So, this is telling me I've got three tenths, so that means I'm going to have three entire columns shaded in here. Okay, so that's what I just did with this green. And then I'm going to look at this six, and that tells me to shade in six hundredths. So that's six individual boxes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here I have represented 36 hundredths. All right, let's take a look at another example. Okay, we're going to be looking at 1 and 78 hundredths. So, looking at this, I've got one whole number, and I've got 7 tenths and 8 hundredths. So I'm going to shade in accordingly. So that one whole will be equal to this entire box here. Because I've got a hundred of them. It's all shaded in. One whole grid is how you can think about it. Or one dollar if you want to think about money when you think about these decimals. And then it tells me I've got seven tenths. So I'm going to shade in seven. There's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then I've got eight hundredths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so here I have represented one whole and seventy eight hundredths. Let's take a look at another example. Let's look at one. And nine hundredths. One and nine hundredths. So again, I've got one whole, I've got zero tenths, and I've got nine hundredths here. So I'm going to shade in one whole. I've got one whole here. If I had two holes, I'd be shading in two of these boxes or three. So on and so forth. And then I've got zero hundredths. So I'm not going to shade in any, I'm sorry, zero tenths. So I'm not going to shade in any whole tenths, but I am going to look at my hundredths and I've got nine of them. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just got a little outside the line there, sorry. But one and nine hundredths is represented here on these base ten grids. All right, here's one for you to try at home, 1 and 46 hundredths. I hope this video was helpful, and we'll see you again soon.